Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. <laughs> I'm just going down a dirt track here under this gorgeous little bridge over this wooden little thing. Oh my goodness gracious me. And we're in Yala province and if you've ever wondered what Yala province is like to travel in, to travel around on a motorbike or not, just generally just, you know, exploring, then this is the video for you. I thought I'd start the video on my bike today, so you don't have to look at my chubby cheek face all the time. And uh, we're on our way to a town called Beitong in the southernmost part of Yala province. We left the city this morning. Not a lot happening at the city, to be honest, just roundabouts in one park. Not that interesting, so we've left and we're headed to one of the most highly recommended places. Along the way, we're going to stop off at a cave. We're going to go to uh, a beautiful dam. We're going to eat some local food. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the roads pick up nicer and less bumpy and gravelly. And the, the views remain as beautiful as they are right now. <laughs> OK, uh, let's, let's roll the intro and pick up when the road gets better and we're nearly at the cave. Oh my gosh. Enjoy the video. My name is Paddy Doyle and this is my little Honda dream and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. Welcome back. We're, uh, we're about 30 kilometers away from Yala town now. And we're heading to a cave. And uh, I just thought I'd show you like a typical town. We've driven through like 20 of these already. And as you can see, it's pretty normal guys. There's not a lot to worry about if you're coming down to Yala. Ordinary to what? All patterny. I mean, I, found, I sound like a broken record because I was worried about coming down here. And yes, you do see the odd random soldier or, or like policeman or whatever walking around with a, with a rifle. Or sometimes you'll see a truck like this, but it will be a military truck and there'll be guys in the back with guns and rifles and they'll be driving to a, a base or something. But they smile at you. When you smile at them, they smile back. They're like, yo. And there's lots of, lots of checkpoints which you just drive through. And uh, nobody checks your bike or checks your license or asks you questions or harasses you. They're not harassing anyone or pulling over anyone that I've seen. I don't, you know, maybe they do, but not today, not yesterday, not the last two days. I haven't seen them interested in anyone seems to be just like security, really. Each town has their own security. Here's another mask, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up at the cave. They've got these beautiful silver domes down here. I'm not sure if that's normal in Malaysia too, but... And lots of 12-year-old kids driving motorbikes <laughs> with no helmets. We'll see a lot of that. Holy cow. Can I go this way? Cup and cow. So that's the first time I've seen the actual army dudes on the street. I mean, they're so heavily, heavily, heavily armed. It's ridiculous. And they're on the middle of a country road out here. You know, we're going to a cave. So, yeah. So that was the first time we've ever seen armed guards, soldiers on the street, waving people through. And, you know, on the big checkpoints, on the big roads, you see them, but they're all in the shade, just on their phones, not doing anything. And then to see them out here in the countryside, for some reason, makes it much worse. Like, it makes you feel like, oh my God, you know, 
know, where are we going? OMG, look at these guys. And there's an army truck here. And there's dudes with guns. Like, what is it about this cave? <laughs> is this a military stronghold? I see people chilling out and there's school kids here. Somebody count? This is amazing. Look at all the stalagmites, guys. Whoa, look at that. Next level. <laughs> this is an experience. It's just a casual picnic spot in a giant, beautiful cave that would be one of the most popular tourist spots in any other part of Thailand. But here it seems to be a local hidden gem. People just chill, bring the fam. Just jungle vibes that way, so we'll, t we'll turn around. And, uh, and look. What an incredible, strange, experience this is wow look at the look at the uh, hole in the sky and all the stalactites coming down and there's families over there can you see over there they've got a big picnic and kids playing I don't see any fish not much water and there's this broken road. I'm going to continue to the dam. The dam's not far. This is beautiful, but, um, you know, it's not somewhere that I really want to hang around with armed guards everywhere. It's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, everyone's, you know, lovely. But for some reason, the the armed, the armed presence doesn't make it feel that relaxing because these guys are in a different uniform to the people we saw earlier. I'll try and drive past. So I don't know if they're going to drive up there and have a massive fight or what, but these guys here just chilling, having a lunch break. They've got a kind of different uniform with Thai flags on it and they're kind of in a green colour, whereas the guys before were in a black colour. I know I'm being stupid, it's nice people having a picnic in a cave, but I don't feel comfortable getting off the bike and hanging around. <laughs> I just don't feel right in my heart. So call me stupid, but we saw it, we drove through it, we had a nice time. It is freaking insanely beautiful here. Let me show you. Look at this, guys. This is real southern Thailand here. In the middle of God knows where, deep south Yala. And you know, just, you know when you just don't get a vibe from a place where you're like, mm, yeah, nice cave, but why are there soldiers? Um, where are we gonna go next? We're gonna go to a dam. And the dam is back on the main road. Okay, so directions, which way do we go? Okay, we go back the way once we came, back to the main road, turn left, easy. It's just me, guys. I've got no backup here. I've got no Thai guide here. I've got no production crew, no producer. I've got no armed guards of my own. <laughs> it's just me and Dreamy. Okay, let's go to the dam.
So watching this back in the editing uh, suite, that is my dorm room. Um, I can see that I probably overreacted. The problem is, is, well, look, I'm not used to seeing armed police, military, rifles, M16s, you know, armoured vehicles. That's not something that I see growing up in England. I mean, fortunately, you know, living in a country uh, without turmoil. And the rest of Thailand as well, you never see this. And so I was a little bit taken back. Plus that morning, you know, I'd seen a lot of military guys moving around in trucks and in back of the back of pickup trucks. So I didn't know if they were mobilizing, I didn't know if there was gonna be some trouble. And you know, if I had a Thai person, a local person with me, he would have said something like, oh, you don't worry, they're, they're, this is all, this is, they're always here, don't worry, it's fine, just chill. You know, maybe I would have unwinded, got off the bike, enjoyed the cave a bit more. But I just didn't feel comfortable, you know, they were cleaning their guns, they were, I don't know what they were doing, I don't know what they're doing, I, I just, look, I didn't feel comfortable or safe hanging around, and it probably was over the top and dramatic, but it was just how I felt in the moment, so I left. Anyway, this is not to take anything away from Yala province, I've loved it so far, and just just seeing the military just gave me the spooks let's just put it like that i continued driving and <laughs> i was in such good spirits to be honest you know regardless of being a little bit put off by the military i was on the winding roads i was driving through the mountains and uh, eventually we came to a giant reservoir with an amazing bridge and a viewpoint and uh, yeah i was i was back on form wow Beautiful, amazing, incredible. They've got. Oh, he's got Newcastle badge on his bike. This is my football team. This is my football team, Newcastle. Hi. Careful, buddy. So they've got these big 800 BMWs, lovely. And uh, for your information, you can rent these in places like Chiang Mai and Bangkok and just drive around for a <laughs> daily rate. Hi. And the helmets have got, they've all got intercom so they can all talk to each other <laughs> and stay in touch. And then this is a, this is a really good bike as well. The Forza, it's 350. Sometimes you can get a 150 or even a, I think they go up to 650cc. Massive things, beautiful, really comfortable. But you know, they've got nothing on a Honda Dream, have they? Let's be honest. I'd love a nice tea. I'm hoping that there's a cafe over there that I can see where we can sit down and have a little cup of tea. Iced tea, lemon tea. But either way, so some form of tea. And then we're gonna go to a fantastic viewpoint. I've gone for french fries, classic, lemon iced tea. Now when you're in Thailand, you just want to say chai manau. Chai manau is like lemon iced tea. Beautiful view. And uh, from here, it's about 30 kilometers to a viewpoint. And from there, it's about another 50 kilometers to the town of Beitong. I don't have any accommodation actually, so I think we're just gonna drive into the town and see what happens. It's raining up on the mountains and it's this big rumbling of storms in the distance, so that's kind of giving us a bit of drama to the afternoon. Along with the uh, military guys with their rifles. <laughs> but we're calm now because we've got lemon iced tea and french fries and fantastic views. Up the 
We made it up to the top. I think it's the top, but this is annoying. Look, check this out. They won't let you drive the last few hundred meters or whatever it is. I tried to just drive past them, but they were having none of it. And then there's an army of taxi drivers. Now, I don't know if this is job creation or just the easiest way to make money. Just put a fake sign, stop people from just driving to the top and charge them money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, let's see what happens. Hi! To the top, yes. No helmet, no? Okay. Brilliant. These ladies refuse to pay or get on the bike. And the father's carrying the baby. So I hope this guy doesn't charge me money. Look, we're here now. It was literally, what was that? A minute? A minute to get up here? Why can't we just park up here? Thank you. Come up. 20 baht. Classic. <laughs> okay, that's pissed me off already. Look. Woo. Wow, they call this place the Sea of Mist. Let me just clean you up there. Yeah, this place is called the Sea of Mist because in the mornings, as the sun rises, this valley is uh, a blanket of clouds. But it's about 40 clicks away from the town of Beitong, so, and there's not many places to stay here. There's a few wooden huts, that's it. So if you wanted to, wanted to come here for sunrise, you'd have to wake up at 4 to get up here for 5. 5.30, sun comes up, 6 o'clock, prime. And I bet it's amazing. But, uh, you know, if you drive all the way here and the weather's like this, or it rains out, you'll be gutted you woke up so early. So I'm debating not really coming here for sunrise, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here now. It's called the Skywalk at something something. And I'm just underneath right now. They make you pay 30 baht for some like covers for your shoes. And the lift isn't working. So you have to walk up here. <sighs> I made it to the top. I don't like this place. I'll explain to you in a minute why. Okay, so you've got the scam at the front where they make you park your car and park your bike, then they make you pay 20 baht to drive you 200 meters, right? Now 20 baht, they probably, they probably want 20 baht to get back to my bike, right? So that's 40 baht. Just for reference, in Bangkok, that will get you halfway across the city <laughs> on a little motorbike taxi. They make you wear these uh, things, except, and yet the glass is still dirty and not clean. So what's the point? Oh Jesus, she's brave, isn't she? Views are good, but look. You, you know, if you're a kid, you, know, you, you can't tiptoe and get a good view over the top. And then I went up there and looked down and uh, the staff are rude as well. They're very rude. Just not happy to see anyone. So it's just a bit of a shitty place. 
ยิ้มมาย้มมาน่าสกีเลยยิ้มหวานมากยิ้มหวานมากเลยเอาตุ้ยมาค่ะยิ้มมาค่ะยิ้มมาค่ะโอ้ยเจ๋งโอ้ยเจ๋งพ่อกับแม่ไม่ถูกใจนี่ผมได้ This is like I'm gonna work on the metal bit, man. I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. That's kind of cool that we're above the canopy. It's pretty high up, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And the views are fantastic. I mean, come on. Except for this stupid thing. And the last thing is, there's this racket. These guys are like sawing something, drilling something. I don't know what it is. So it ruins any vibe of nature, of being in the canopy. It's like being in a building site. <sighs> I'm gonna say not worth it. The views, yeah, the views are amazing, but you see these views on the mountain road. So thumbs down. 20 bar to go 200 meters. If you know me, I hate getting ripped off. Even if it's 20 bar, it's the principle. <laughs> Look, I'm all for job creation, okay? And these guys got to make a living. But I have an idea. So tourism board. Or the gangster who's in charge of this big metal scam. Listen up. Here's what you should do. Charge foreigners 100 baht. Because I know you guys love to charge us more. So charge us 100. Charge Thai people 50. And then let these be fr like a free service and pay them a salary. Instead of having to like make everyone feel like they, you know, are getting scammed out of 20 baht each way. And nobody's getting a lift back because everyone's like, screw these guys. It's only 200 meters and it's downhill. And it just leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Am I being a whiny prick or do you feel me? Let me know. Maybe I'm being too harsh on them. But I just think it's a little bit of a joke. Nobody's got a smile on their face when they get down from there. Everybody's like, that was shite. <laughs> oh, skywalk, more like shite walk. Okay. <laughs> Okay, at least, you know what the best part about coming up here was? Guess what it was. Of course it was the drive. And we have the pleasure, the privilege of going downhill now into Beitong. We're going to find somewhere to stay, enjoy the afternoon drive, enjoy the views, enjoy the mountains. No more skywalks. These guys don't know how pissed off they're going to be when they have to pay 20 baht to park their bikes up and then get <laughs> a lift up the street to a metal monstrosity with, with rude stuff. Anyway, I'm, I'm over it. Are you over it? Because I'm over it. <laughs> Avanti! Let's go. Let's, next place. Jesus. <laughs> Good old Thailand. It always likes to throw in a spanner in the works. Uh, Google Translate, by the way, is, is, a, is a winner. Watch this. I have a booking tomorrow, but I'm here one day early. Uh, where is it? Okay. Oh. I don't know. I, I, I'm not owner. Ah. Do you have the uh, number owner? No. Me no. This handsome man is uh is losing Hello. his mind that i uh that i'm driving around thailand so he's offered to buy me a, well pour me a free beer cheers Chok -di -kap. Chok -di -kap. <laughs> nice welcome do you recommend anywhere recommend anywhere or many many anywhere is many many, many anywhere many I, many you know are you wing skywalk skywalk no yeah. i don't like it you don't like it no what me like what the food. Oh, the food is good. Food is good. And yeah. the people the Chinese, are Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese food. Yes. And handsome men like me and you. Yeah. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you you can you can show the 
But uh, some people it's chun keo. Chun keo is like a like, like a glass, two glasses. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had three big beers with Mu, that was the name of that guy and his family. And uh, what a great, great adventure today was. Lots of uh, adventure, lots of roads, lots of... Uh, just lots of yalla, let's put it like that. And uh, she's gonna take a rest, I'm gonna take a rest, gonna pop into the town, find dinner, nothing interesting. Tomorrow will be a rest day and then I think the day after I'm gonna smash Bay Tong and the surrounding area and show you what it's like around here because as you can see lots of tourists come here because it's supposed to be beautiful and lots of things to see and do so thank you for watching see you in the next adventure next level adventure I should say <laughs> and uh, yeah what a ride <laughs>